So what happens, how does your body react? Say bacteria do enter your tissue somehow. So what happens is that your body sends in the troops. It sends in the leukocytes, your white blood cells, and it tries to combat it. So again, you have all of these types of white blood cells, and this is how your body tries to react to some sort of infection. It tries to recruit everything to combat the infection and get rid of it. So this is what I love about this. So white blood cells, these are immune defenses. These protect your bodies against, against pathogens. And let's talk about, now we're going to talk about these leukocytes more in detail. Again, we talked about them very surface level in the beginning of the semester, but now we're going to get more into about what do the, what are the different types and what do they do? Well, a very general f category is phagocytes. So if, again, these are not, mutually exclusive, they just describe a search, any cell that does a certain function. Now what is a phagocyte? Phagocyte, they're something that eats. So again, phage in Greek, if you add this yogurt, it literally is eat yogurt. So this means to eat in Greek. So site means cell. When you put those together, you have a cell that eats. So phagocytosis is what hap what's happening here is the cell is eating this microbe right here and then it's doing its own version of cellular digestion and its own version of cellular pooping by getting rid of this debris right here. So it's a broad category. So pretty much if a cell is able to do this function right here, it is a phagocyte. So the things that can eat pathogens, debris, dead, other dead cells that are part of your body but no longer functioning. So neutrophils and macrophages, these are both phagocytes because they both can do this process called phagocytosis. Now monocytes. So monocytes, we have a picture of this right here. And in histology, it has this kind of kidney being horseshoe shape a nucleus right here. And this is a type of leukocytes. And monocytes can also become macrophages. And macrophage, well macro means big, phage means eat, right? So these are types of phagocytes. So I like to think of it this way, or this is like my mnemonic if you know if you've watched too much Dora the Explorer and know a little Spanish so como se dice monkey in Espanol you say it as mono so mono so I like think of it as like a little mono monkey eating so it's a phagocyte so monocytes are phagocytes and the other thing is that they're very mobile so they're actually able to move through your bloodstream but not only in your bloodstream but they're actually able to kind of get off on different spots or actually move out of the bloodstream and kind of the, so they're able to kind of like go where they're needed and respond to a little infection and call and then handle an any microbes or pathogens there. So they're kind of like always on patrol. They can they're like they're a little monkey. This is this is how I you memorize them in my mind. I think of them like a little monkey force that eats not only eats but is able to kind of patrol, swing around everywhere, and actually squeeze into different areas of your body to help defend against pathogens. But how do they know where to go? Well, the interesting thing is that they have to do this process called chemotaxis. So chemotaxis, chemo means chemical, and taxis. So think of it like a taxi. A taxi gets you from one place to another. So taxis is a root word meaning movement. So chemotaxis is movement of a cell toward, or it could be a way. You can have positive or negative chemotaxis. But chemicals in your environment can cause cells to either migrate and move toward a chemical or away from a chemical. So chemotaxis, I like to think of it this way. Um, so bacteria, pathogens, and uh, even damaged cells from your own body, they release chemicals, and immune cells are attracted to these chemicals. They do chemotaxis toward chemicals that are characteristics of pathogens or char characteristic of an infection. So I like to think of this this way. Chemotaxis is kind of like these sniffer dogs. They know the, like, the they, they're able to like detect chemicals through, through their very acute sense of smell. So they're able to kind of lead the defenses of your body, or, or, or at least in terms of these bomb sniffer dogs or these canine squads, they're able to lead your defenses toward a potential threat. They know certain chemicals that are associated with a threat, so they lead their, your defenses toward that threat. So that's what chemotaxis is like. Now macrophages, these are mature differentiated forms of monocytes. 
So macro means large and big, right? And again, phage means to eat, so they are phagocytic. So I like to think of it this way. Macrophages are big eaters, but this is why I'm using this picture. Big eaters, but they're also defenses of your body against pathogens. And one other thing is that they kind of like what they're, they respond to neutrophils, but they also recruit more of your immune defenses as well. And the thing is that they can also cause inflammation. And inflammation is an overall kind of like general immune response and defense of your body against infection. So what we have here, so there are th there are macrophages everywhere in your body, almost everywhere in your body. Now, so the thing is that in, they can either be free or fixed. Now free means that they're able to move about, so they're able to patrol. Whereas fixed macrophages, these are stationary. So think you have like fixed macrophages in like your liver. They more like just hang out there and monitor what goes by. So they're kind of like, I like to think of it like free are like the um, like police cars you see patrolling around the neighborhood whereas fixed ones these are like the traffic cops you see on the side of the highway and they're doing the little radar to see whether you're speeding or not or like campus police if or in the before times sometimes you see campus police some of them are on their little vehicles or they're patrolling around they're doing their rounds and then you have some that just kind of hang back and just kind of watch and just see what's happening around so again macrophages immune defenses they're able to kind of handle these threats, but sometimes they stay in one place, that means they're fixed, or they might be free and moving around through your body. Now phagocytosis, again, to look at it more in detail, what we have here is something that's invading your body and it's foreign. And then we have this phagocyte, again, many different types of cells can be phagocytes. As long as it's able to engulf a particle or a microbe or a pathogen, and then what it does is kind of like envelops it in its own plasma membrane, but makes a little bubble that contains this pathogen. And what happens is that it uses these chemicals it stores in other bubbles, these vesicles in the cell. And here we have a lysosome. So a lysosome has a very acidic pH, but it also has all these enzymes. And what happens is basically it's kind of like throwing a, like a, it's like mixing it with, or, with like um, a bunch of acid and a bunch of like digestive enzymes, so it's kind of like your your how your um, like I guess the cell equivalent of your stomach. So it's adding all of these caustic chemicals that help to dissolve and disintegrate this invading microbe or pathogen. And now we have this digestive microbe, and now your cell is going to get rid of it and get rid of anything it can't digest and dissolve and excrete it. So it's kind of like this is like your cell stomach, and this is like your cell's colon, and it's now it's pooping out the remains. So this is phagocytosis. And fa spelling counts. Why? Because again, phagocyte is a cell that eats. Phagocytosis, again, you have the eat part, you have the cell part, but this is the process. So again, the cell, they're related, but one is talking about a process one is talking about a cell so again this is why it's very important to kind of like pay attention to not just the root words but also what it ends with now mac macrophage again these all have that that f-a-g-e or p and not f-a p-h-a-g-e so again they all have that eat root word and they also release chemicals that attract a certain type of cell we call neutrophils